Hello there and welcome to another video. I'm going to be talking about Liverpool versus Southampton. It's been a bit of a bit of a busy weekend having some Sunday roasts and all that sort of stuff as well. So I didn't get to make a video about the game uh, straight away. But honestly, you know what? I am happy about the result. Now, what I would like to say as well is, you know, there's obviously a little bit of an uproar of some sort because of the quality of play that Liverpool actually put in. There's been people talking about Adrian, and I'm going to give you from my perspective of the whole game and obviously Adrian's mistake that he made that led to a goal for Danny Ings. But we have to take the entire week into perspective here. We have to take in, you know, the performance that we had against Norwich. We have to take into, into perspective the performance that we had against Chelsea and now the performance that we put in against Southampton. And what we've got to take from this is even though we played poorly, even though we played possibly to a point where we don't deserve either the points, maybe possibly even the trophy that we got midweek as well, we didn't necessarily perform to our... We didn't perform to our best. We know what our best looks like. We probably... The best example of what Liverpool looks like at its best was against Barcelona, second leg in the Champions League last season. That is prob that is us at our best. That is us at our most fluid, at our most impactful, our attacking best, our defensive best as well. That is what we look like. We don't look like that right now. Attacking wise, I think that we are we're getting there. I think that we're almost there. You're looking at where. Like the job that Bobby Firmino does, the job that Sadio Mane does, the job that Salah is doing, even though it's maybe not getting the end product that he deserves. Oxley chamberlain looked magnificent, I felt, in midfield. That is definitely his position that he should be playing in whenever he plays for Liverpool. None of this, let's shove him into one of the right wing or left wing spots. None of that. I was very impressed by what I saw from Oxley chamberlain I was impressed in some ways by what I saw sometimes in the midfield and I think it's really where the midfield is not I don't want to say letting us down but it's not performing to its fullest potential like what we saw near the end of last season and I think that is primarily where our poor performances are coming from our defense is coming under a lot of pressure you know especially late on in games right now it seems that there seems to be a lot more in the tank from certain you know from these teams that we've played Chelsea seem to have an endless tank, and I'm watching Chelsea play right now um, against Leicester, and they're all over the pitch, they're everywhere, they are running, and it just seems like they've just got an endless tank at the moment, and I'm looking at it, and I think, is it purely down to the fact that we didn't really have the best, we didn't have the best preseason at all, and yet we've still come out with three wins out of three so far this season, um, you know, is is that the primary thing that we just you know it's maybe going to take another week or two or three weeks until we become fully up to speed both defensively in the midfield and attacking wise and obviously when we get Allison back as well is that going to be a contributing factor? I I personally believe it will be, but I'm also happy to pick up these points as we've got them right now with these poor performances because it still shows that we've got the mentality to pick up these points where you know and pick up the trophy as well midweek we've still got the mentality to go out there and get it we've still got the forward players which yes the forward players are probably digging us out right now because defensively in the midfield um you know which is letting us down right now the the midfield is not control i've said it a lot last season that if you win your midfield battles and it's it's a mainstay of modern football from you know 10 20 years ago as well if you win your midfield battles then you will go on and generally either dominate or win that game or both you'll dominate and win the game we're not winning midfield battles right now and that has to be what the focus needs to be on because if we start winning the midfield battles and coming you know and making our midfield better perform better than the opposition then it takes the pressure off the defence a little bit and they can actually focus on defending instead of what you're seeing is you're seeing Joel Matip going into midfield and making passes himself, you know, and he's striding through into midfield, almost playing as a midfielder himself, and then gets caught out of position because he's playing these these balls from midfield and stuff like that. You know, Trent Alexander Arnold hasn't always been switched on since the start of the season, and I'm hoping that that comes just with continuity of playing, playing more 
games, more minutes, because they haven't had the greatest preseason. They haven't had the longest preseason either. When Allison comes back, that'll give us something extra in goal as well. And then let's talk about in goal, because Adrian did make a mistake, but for me, it literally just looked like a split second lapse of concentration and a split second lapse of awareness of what was actually coming out at him. It literally looked like he's looking at the ball, goes and tries to hit the ball to make a pass, and then looks up and goes, ah, crap, it's a Southampton player right in front of me. And it's it's just one of those things. It really is. I would also maybe, maybe put it down to tiredness a bit because they, they've worked hard over the last week, you know, and I would also put it down to the fact that Adrian is literally, you know, he got past fit that day. Maybe, and I'm not saying that, you know, you can't blame it just on this ankle, freak ankle injury that he got midweek, but it is definitely a contributing factor, and the fact with all of that stuff going on, we still came out there with the three points against Southampton, I am happy with that. I'm happy with the goals that we scored, I totally am. Bobby Firmino scored a really good goal for the second one, Sadio Mane absolutely hit one. And it was a beautiful goal, really, really beautiful goal. And Mane right now is, as an attacking player, probably our best one and the one that we are relying on the most to get us the get us the goals. We really are. Salah's doing his part in, in, in parts, but he's just not necessarily at it at this very moment. He's not on fire at this very moment. But I, I firmly believe that that will come. I really do. So in terms of the performance, it wasn't a great performance. It, it wasn't a great performance. It, it you know we were getting outpassed in places. Uh, they had uh, much more. They had more opportunities than they should have had. I think it was on match of the day saying that they had uh, like fourteen attempts or something like that. It's something that we haven't been used to. Like last season, um, actually conceding chances. You know, not conceding goals, but conceding chances to opposition. We're doing it a lot more at this point in the season than we did at pretty much any point last season. And that's just the way it is right now. As long as we keep picking up the points, I'm happy. We've got a tough, tough test against Arsenal next week. We really have. But at least we've got a week for recovery and training. That, And we're at Anfield next week as well. So I'm hopeful that we'll be able to take advantage of that and really put on a good performance against what will be a top four chasing team in Arsenal. I think we're the only two teams right now at present you know the the Chelsea result will Chelsea Leicester result will finish after this video goes live anyway so I don't know what that result will be but right now Arsenal and Liverpool are the only ones that have got six points out of six um, so I really want us to keep that momentum going I, I think that we can do it and I think we will do it but I think also we need to need to back we need to back off a little bit of the going into uproar mode straight after a performance like that because there's plenty of times years gone by where we would put in a performance like that and get really punished for it now the fact that Southampton would not have scored at all if Adrian didn't make that mistake we would have been looking at a 2-0 win and a clean sheet you know so I firmly and happily give Adrian a bye for that mistake purely mostly because we won the game in the end um, despite the pressure that was put on us, but also because of how busy this last week has been, how taxing this week has been. We're going to have a tough week again, you know, coming up against Arsenal next week. That is going to be a tough game, but I'm hoping that within this, this week, we'll st maybe see what how Naby Keita is doing as well, whether he can come into midfield, freshen up that midfield and give a bit more intensity there. I I'm just, you know, I'm much more looking at the hopeful side of Liverpool rather than just conceding into oh my god we're doing crap this year we're not going to do anything blah 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 and all that sort of stuff I, I want to I want to be hopeful and Liverpool are giving us every reason to be hopeful with the fact that we're not playing well and we're still picking up points so hopefully when we start actually clicking and playing really really well then things will continue to get better for us but onwards and upwards that, that's all I can think of you know if we get a good positive result against Arsenal then I'm happy again. You know, if we can pick up another three points against Arsenal, another top four rival, then I'm happy. But let me know what you think in the comments below. What are you thinking of Liverpool's situation right now 
And what do you think we can do to correct it? What do you think Liverpool can do to firm up the defence? Is there anybody at fault or is it the system that we're playing? Is there something that's not right? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do like it and subscribe if you're new around here. I hope you've had a great weekend, guys, and I really do hope that you've got a great week ahead of you. Thanks so much once again, and I'll catch you later.